All right, so I've got some good news today for um, for the gaming community in general, and not just uh, not just PlayStation fans. Apparently, on February twentieth, the official information about the PlayStation Three is supposed to be released to the public. Right now, all there is on the information is just you know is just rumors and hoaxes and such, and you know like CG stuff to to what the PlayStation 4 looks like and it's all rumors so we don't have any official information yet other than that the PlayStation 4 does exist but fortunately on February 20th anything you want to know like the design of the controllers the PlayStation design the new logo and any other information right now we don't know exactly what the what kind of information they're gonna release they're just gonna release what if they whatever they feel like they want to release. And um, on February 20th, maybe you could check it out on, on Kotaku.com. Usually those guys get the, get the information on video games the first thing. Uh, so yeah, basically, uh, we can't talk about it really because we don't want to talk about rumors on this show. We want to get, you know, actual the actual information. So just uh, remember on February 20th, if you're excited, just look it up and uh, on on any what any news webs uh, game news website and it'll be there for you. Uh, as you know, Christian was talking about the PlayStation 4, and I'm going to be talking about the Xbox 720 and all of its new features, and I'm just going to give you a brief description about all the new things it's going to have, and how it's going to look, and all the software, will, like what's going to happen with it. Uh, as you know, the Kinect was with the Xbox 360, and they had the Wii U for the Wii, and yeah. And I think for the 720, they're actually going to have an upgraded version of the Kinect, which is going to be like way like better and it's supposed to be 10 times faster the 720 it's supposed to be compatible with windows 8 which i'll show you if i get the 720 um the controller is actually going to be a hybrid between the xbox controller and the playstation controller it's also going to have a touch screen and uh the hardware inside it it's going to be like newer and everything it's going to be faster as you know that because it always gets faster and faster every single time and uh, there's pictures of it on the internet. It's supposed to be round. It's supposed to be whatever, whatever. I don't know yet because there's no actual, like, Microsoft hasn't leaked anything about it. But it's supposed to come out November 2013. All right. So adding on to the news we talked about about the PlayStation 4, the game director of the Metal Gear franchise, Hideo Kojima, um, has apparently has announced that metal that the next Metal Gear Solid game, Metal Gear Solid Ground Zeroes, which will be the which will be the fifth game in the series, is going to be on the place both the PlayStation Three and the PS Four. However, I don't know if this is a rumor or a fact. That I read this on some website, so I'm going to assume it's real, but I can't assume too much. Some people are saying it's actually not going to be next gen. Some people are good, are saying that it's actually going to just remain current gen. But nonetheless, um, the most information what they revealed so far is that the official trailer is out, which is actually a 10 minute long trailer, which is really long for a trailer, for the first trailer of a game. But nonetheless, it's actually a really good trailer. And you and, know... Uh, yeah, yeah, you should watch it in the description. Yeah, it'll, and it's gonna be there. The link uh, for YouTube is gonna be in the description below, so if you just watch it if you're a fan of Metal Gear of Metal Gear Solid. I know I am, so I'm really excited for this game. However, we don't know when it's gonna be released. But all, all I know is that it's, it's definitely going to be a great game because, you know, none of the games in the Metal Gear Solid franchise have ever, has ever, um, has ever disappointed me ever. So it's, it's definitely going to be a great game and it's something that the fans are going to love. Yeah. Okay, so we have some uh, non-video game news for you guys. Uh, you might not like this, but it's, it's really big in the news. So you might have heard that a uh, meteor uh, passed uh, Russia and uh, it disintegrated before it actually came to the earth, but it, one of the pieces actually hit Russia and the uh, entire meteor was a uh, size of an Olympic pool, yeah, as the, you might know. The initial sonic boom created, uh, shattered a whole bunch of windows which injured over, like it injured a lot of people. Yeah, it injured people. actually uh, over 900 people, yeah. and. Uh, so, well that's all we really know, but we're gonna still talk about like, uh, it actually like passed the satellites and stuff, and uh, 
and Russia was the most affected by this because uh, it passed past the Earth, but some of the pieces actually uh, went to Russia. Yeah, it did. A, it did a lot of damage. Yeah, and that's it for this part. Okay, so that's all for this video. Um, we're gonna be posting a video every f Saturday or Sunday, and uh, like this video. Uh, make sure you comment uh, anything in the comments that you want us to work on, of course. And uh, make sure you subscribe over here. Yep. Yeah. And uh, thank you for watching. <laughs>